Dramatic new video tonight. You're looking at a man locked in the backseat of a Garden Grove police car armed with a rifle. KK9 Stacy Butler is live in Garden Grove right now with the video and the story of how this all happened. Stacy. Jeff, when police arrived at the Drug and Alcohol Recovery Center where the suspect was two nights ago, they say he was acting so erratically that he was eating grass and leaves. So they put him in the back of the police cruiser, but they had no idea what was about to unfold. From the back of a Garden Grove police cruiser, dash cam video just released shows a man police describe as mentally unstable, fumbling with an officer's loaded AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. You can hear him chambering round after round as the bullets hit the car floor. Minutes later, an officer's voice on the radio says they're bringing in the airship. He thought he heard air strike and fired the rifle through the front windshield. Air strike. Yeah. Why don't you not raise any sons of Police say 33 year old Stephen Matthews was living at the Morningside Recovery Center in Garden Grove when he had a psychotic episode Tuesday night. Mental health workers responded and asked police for help until an ambulance arrived. They didn't cuff him because he wasn't under arrest. The officer who placed him in the back of his cruiser had no idea the spring on the plexiglass screen that separates the officer from the suspects in the back was broken. Matthews got into the front of the cruiser, pressed a release button for the weapon, and refused. Refused to come out for two hours. Now, when all of this happened the other night, Matthews was on his way to get mental health help. Now he's likely on his way to prison. He faces a slew of charges. He's going to be arraigned tomorrow. That's the latest from Garden Grove. Back to you guys in the studio. That is frightening. Stacy Butler, thank you so much.